And here at 11 o'clock, we have some breaking news coming out of Lindbergh Field tonight. We're told that a pilot of a jetliner was taken to the hospital after uh, someone pointed a green laser at the plane. It happened just after 9. It was American Airlines Flight 563 coming into San Diego from Phoenix. Former San Diego County Sheriff Bill Collender is dead. He'd been battling Alzheimer's disease. It is going to affect a huge section of Mexico, this whole area, both the mountainous areas, the valleys. We're talking 10 million people and more are going to feel the effects of Patricia. Yeah, he's making history and he's making friends. And before we get to all of the official ceremonies today, we want to show you one of those special moments between the Pope and a little girl from Southern California. Five-year-old Sophie Cruz from the Los Angeles area, wearing that beautiful dress and braids, got through the barricades along the Washington, D.C. parade today and got the Pope's attention. A security guard, as you saw, picked her up, took her to the Pope Mobile, and she delivered a yellow T-shirt and a special hand handwritten letter. It was a plea for prayers to allow her family to stay in the United States, even though they are here illegally. She said her heart is sad because she's afraid ICE will come and deport them. This is the KUSI News at 11. Yes, I am here. It is 11 o'clock. Good evening and thanks for staying up late with us here on KUSI. Well, a bizarre scene erupted at a local high school today. Hundreds of Chula Vista students protesting the arrest of one of their teachers. The $5,000 commercials that you could buy in tonight's debate because Donald Trump was going to be here and because they expected a huge audience, those commercials are going for $200,000. Hi, this is Ross Becker at the Reagan Library and the debate is over and now we're in the spin room. This is where they're all going to come to try to spin their stories. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for inviting me. Appreciate being I don't get invited anywhere much anymore. <laughs> well, and you and that'll go down from here. <laughs> trust me. But let's talk about that because Prop A and Prop B, at least the early numbers, and I know it's very early, but it looks like they're going to be approved by the voters. This is homecoming weekend at San Diego State University at the pep rally today. KUSI's Bridget Naso found that students have a lot of pride in their school, but many are also struggling with the rising cost of higher education. They're accused of disrupting an airline flight, and tonight they are telling their side of the story. KUSI talked with two members of a San Diego-based Chaldean soccer team. Now, here's Ross Becker. It's 3 p.m. We're live in the Channel 4 newsroom. I was at the assignment desk a couple weeks ago when the Benedict Canyon brush fire started. You could see the smoke from our helicopter and you could see the smoke all over the San Fernando Valley. We'll have a, full, we'll have a report at 5 o'clock. That's going to make a, really a big ripple in the Glendale community. Crime in Glendale usually amounts to break-ins and small things, certainly not homicides, or at least in my memory I haven't heard about homicides in Glendale in a long time. All right, we were following a breaking story this afternoon in this monitor in a sec, and on your TV sets at home, you're going to start seeing some video of that fire out in Yucca Valley. We have on the telephone with us Andy Takata. He is the town manager of Yucca Valley. Andy, I, I suspect you thought this thing was done, over with, and, and going the other way, and now all of a sudden you got flames again. That's right, Ross. The Chief, can you hear me? Yes, I can Chief, now. Hi, this is Ross Becker, and we're live on the air with Channel 4 right now. Uh, okay, I know I this hear. is a, a difficult afternoon for you. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. We're almost to the end of the week and uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow at 3 o'clock live right here in the Channel 4 newsroom with all the TV sets turned up real loud so you hear an echo. And that is just one thing on the plate of the president tonight. The upcoming fiscal cliff and the huge tax increases looming for everyone. The Benghazi hearings which begin tomorrow and the growing bizarre CIA sex scandal. So when the president held his first televised news conference today since the election, there were a lot of tough questions. That's it. At this hour, it has more dislikes on YouTube than it does likes.